People who work with them always have these great stories. What's your best Stan Lee story? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great story that my father told me about Stan, because Stan and I, I know him, I worked with him, although he always forgot my name until I started working with him, but he had a habit <laughs> of forgetting everybody's name because he had so many people that he met. But the image, and I did sit in on a plot story with him, but he didn't jump on the couch. The image that my father explains to me, he goes in to discuss a plot for Spider-Man with a pen and paper because he knows he's got to take notes because Stan doesn't give him a, a plot. Stan acted it out, <laughs> jumped up on the couch. I mean, not Tom Cruise-like, but it does everything. <laughs> and then he, that's what he gives my, my father. Take notes, goes home, and has to tell a story. So the image of Stan Lee jumping around the office explaining what's going on. It's got to be this guy. He's got to jump here. Those are the ones that make me smile because I imagine my father very, very uh, close to the vest, conservative kind of a person. Not politically is in that he's just... Not very out, outward that way, not very colorful. Stan was the colorful one. And he would say, this is what you got to do. And then my father would do the art. No, no, we got to do this, this, and this. Those are the stories I remember. And then Stan was that way. And he was that way, and he probably still is that way, though he doesn't climb the couch anymore. <laughs> 94, I think he's, he's done climbing couches. Yeah.